culinary Cambodian foods, there's no shortage of steps to making a good dish. When you say it's enough, that's when we know it's not enough. So when we make food, we're looking for delicious, meaning that we will put whatever extra that we need to. Every ingredient adds balance, texture, and scrumptious alchemy. I think it's enough now. The cheerful service and vibrant plates are welcoming. But behind everything here is a story of survival. Terry was only a child when the brutal Khmer Rouge attacked her village. She and her family fled with roughly one million other Cambodians, walking hundreds of miles to safety. We lost two of my brothers, and then me and my other brother, we got really sick. Life as they knew it was gone. The culture, the country, everything, our memories. But Terry believes food is restorative. After immigrating to America, her mother cooked all the meals for community events. And of course, by eating her food and seeing her cooking, her preparation, uh, somehow it's the DNA. So what I have seen and learned from my mom is what I offer here. Traditional dishes dating back generations long before the Khmer Rouge. In fact, Terry identifies herself using a traditional word, Khmer. We preferred to be called as Khmer because that's one of our original, original name. The base for most of her menu is an ancient spice blend called Kru, used for things like marinating that's spicy that's stuffed that's chicken wings. Fresh chopped herbs and vegetables are also key ingredients. So it balances out the flavor and the taste. She also imports a traditional fish-based paste used to make a signature dipping sauce. We want our aroma, we want our flavor, we want our smell, we want to wear it when we walk out of here. So that's how it is. First time customers Kevin and Kelly can confirm every bite is bold and unique. It's so good. <laughs> absolutely love it. The coconut chicken is like perfect. Especially adding the uh, pickles. It had a nice cool texture to it and it, it just added an extra boost of flavor and juice. Terry's mother dreamed about opening a restaurant and now this space honors her. Oh, I, I think she'll cry first out of happiness. Um, and I'm, I, I know she'll be proud merging past and present to give authentic Cambodian food a future. All right, thank you, Kim. That looks so good. Terry Cambodian Foods is open Tuesday through Sunday. We heard about this restaurant from Jema. Thank you so much. If you've got a great story idea, send it our way through email or social media.